Hey Libra, it's Lori. I am going to do your uh, love reading for you. What is your person thinking about you? How do they feel about this relationship? Whatever comes across with the person that you are thinking of, okay? Any type of love reading. So you may be dealing with a Taurus or a Pisces, a Capricorn, Leo. We do have Libra down here, and we do have a tiny bit of Sagittarius popping through there. So there might be a couple of you dealing with a Sag. Okay, now if your person's sign is not here, you can check the other signs in their birth chart, such as their um, rising sign, their um, Venus or Moon sign, okay? And you can always check those at any time. It will always give you more information about yourself or other people. All right, and if this does not resonate with you, please do not take this on as your story. Life is difficult enough without making other people's messages our own and trying to live our lives through them, if that makes sense. All right, let's go ahead and do past energy here. I am going to cut the deck. So your person's past energy towards you or this relationship. Their present feelings towards you or the relationship and how they see it in the future. You or the relationship. Oh boy. <laughs> awesome. So what we've got here, I'm going to keep it here because I'm going to clarify. Wheel of Fortune, Strength. And the Two of Cups. That is three major Arcana cards right off the bat, Libras. Can I point that out yet again? This week has been incredible for you guys with this major Arcana here. So your person really feels lucky that they were able to meet you, okay? They see you as being equal to them, um, complementary to them, not completing them, but just enjoying the same things that they enjoy okay and it brought them an inner peace is what i'm getting from this card usually it's strength okay um that's what this card card is called strength but i read intuitively so what i'm feeling and hearing is you, you brought an inner peace to them they they just feel really comfortable around you some of you actually bring out a compassionate side of this person that they didn't even know they had. So, like, when you're with them, they want to be generous to people. They they want to... I think they're taking a, a cue from you. Like, they've seen you do nice things for people without expecting anything in return. And they kind of want to emulate that. And they've never felt that way before. I don't think they've ever been around people like that. But yeah, they definitely see... I keep hearing, boy, it was my lucky day. I can't believe it. It was my lucky day, you know. And, and so, some of you met... <laughs> and this is going to be very specific. At a zoo. Okay? You met at a place where animals are the focus. So, zoo. The SPCA a dog park, um, a rescue place, a preserve, anything like that where animals are the, like, focus is where you met this person. And if you haven't met them yet, okay, if you're hoping for, you know, if you're manifesting a love, this can give you a clue as to where you will find them, okay? So your person's out there looking for you. Go visit a zoo. <laughs> Okay, for those who are in a relationship already, it doesn't matter if you're in one or not. Um, the current energies from this person towards you or towards this relationship. Hmm. Yeah, they're waiting. Some of you have not met yet, okay? Some of you have not met yet. For those of you that have, like, I'm getting you met at some point in the past, it was like a chance meeting, like something weird happened and you ended up being in a place where you normally would not be and you ran into this person and you kind of hit it off. You knew it, you felt it, 
intuitively you just felt this connection with this person. And maybe you asked them out on a date and something happened. Maybe you went on a couple of dates. I am seeing for some of you, you did go on a couple of dates. But for the most part, you've only met this person, had that like one chance meeting with them. They felt that strongly about the connection, which tells me you probably did too. It, it just feels like two um, powerful entities coming together and just <laughs> blossoming, okay? So, yeah, currently they're waiting to get back together with you. They want to take you out. They want to spend time with you. They want to see behind the curtain. They want to know more about you. If you're in a current relationship, they still are waiting for you to get back to them about going out. Accepting their offer to do something. Okay, and let's see what the future brings in here. We got the Six of Pentacles. We got the Five of Pentacles. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not. Oh, wait a minute, though. Wait a minute. Yeah, no. For some of you, this something happens. Something happens. Financially, something happens with this person financially and they're devastated. They are left out in the cold. They are going to have to start their life from scratch. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm hearing major financial loss. Major. Charitable contribution, does that... Um, mm. I am going to clarify this. I absolutely want to clarify this. Because this was, I mean, you two, this energy felt really great. I need clarification here, please, of... The Six of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and Death card here, please. The energy. Yeah, they're having to reassess their life completely. They're very, very upset that they wanted a fresh start. They waited a long time for someone like you, and they lost it all. They lost it all. I'm hearing... I'm hearing that their investment, something that they did... Hmm, that still doesn't make me... Oh, boy. Yep, they were married. They were married, and the divorce devastated them. They lost everything in their divorce. It is taking all their strength just to go on. The Hierophant, the Six of Cups... Very slow, something that took, you know, it was years and years in coming. This person may have cheated on their partner, their their spouse, their long-term partner. Whoever is wiping them out, they did something that was not right, okay? And now they're going to have to sacrifice, they're going to have to pay for it. Yeah, look at that. And now they got to wait for things to get better okay so some of you this is a very specific message okay I'm, I'm sure there's a couple hundred people out there going through a divorce and they're probably going to be took for everything that they have I'm going to draw from a different deck and see if I can get 
um, like an outcome. I've, I thought I felt a card backwards here. A couple of cards here. Yeah, and they're very worried that they're going to have to go take their life in a different direction. But they're determined. They're determined to make make something of themselves again. All right, can we get an answer as to whether this relationship is going to be put on hold, will be moving forward, should Libra move past this person? Can we get more information here, please? Wow, the cards are like packed they felt really tight all right let's see what we can get what more information we can get please two or three cards well that's about six two more shuffles wheel of fortune again Queen of Wands, King of Wands. Okay, this is telling me that you two are supposed to be together. You are going to be together. I mean, this is the Wheel of Fortune, okay? The Wheel of Fortune wants, look at you, you're facing each other. The Divine wants you guys together here. Of course, we all have free will. You do not have to do anything according to the tarot. You get to make up your mind. If you don't want to be with this person, don't be. But it looks like there is a reason for the two of you to be together. Right. Yep. You two being together ends the cycle of this burden. It, it helps. Yeah. Okay, all right, okay. Um, oh my gosh, there's so many good cards in here. So it, to me, this relationship, what I'm hearing is you guys are meant to be together. It's always your choice, but fate, the divine spirit, all of them are kind of saying that you two would be really good together. Look, X marks the spot between the queen and the king. <laughs> I don't know why I was meant to point that out. That's funny. I think I mentioned X marks the spot when I rolled some die at, for somebody's reading. I don't know. I love reading. Um, wow. That's all I can give you guys. I really don't have an answer. Um, but it looks like it's going to change the cycle. Okay. It's going gonna, it's gonna to end a cycle of destitution. Of hardships, hard words even, walking away from it, walking away from, see the five, of, the five of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, I'm getting all of this, walking away from all of this. Clearly state, your person is clearly stating, look, I, d I have no intentions of staying here, I'm moving on, I'm, I'm going to go celebrate my life and leave the, and take myself out of the cold, I'm going to boss up. And there's my wish fulfilled. I'm going to stand my ground. Okay? And here's what I've got to start. I've got very little to start with. But you know what? You have to start somewhere. And I, I'm hearing that you may be financially secure enough that you can carry the two of you. And you know that this person can recover quickly. Again, it's always your decision. I'm only passing on the messages. Okay? Okay? I do want to say I just shuffled, and that's what came up. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. And on the bottom of that one is the Queen of Cups. Very fulfilling, emotional um, relationship. And we had the King of Swords showing here, and now we've got the Queen of Swords. So the truth, there's some sort of conversation that's going to happen between the two of you. You're going to speak the truth. 
you could be married, okay? I mean, with the hair font here, you could be married. Maybe that's why you're still together. You're not going to leave this person because of financial ruin. You'll figure it out. You'll start again. Yeah. But if this is somebody who is waiting on somebody, you can either expect a bumpy road and a long-term turmoil for a while, you know, until they get themselves back on their feet because they're not going to come at you broke. They're not going to do that. You may come together down the road when the wheels change again, when the cycle, when that cycle ends. And they feel like they can offer you a future. Okay, my lovely, lovely Libras. This is your person's view of a relationship with you. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like the video, comment, claim it. And if you have not yet subscribed to this lovely, awesome Libra community, I would invite you to do so by subscribing to the channel. And that brings you into our awesome community, and we would love to have you here. So until our energies cross again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.